Yes, yes, we saw you. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lost the epistle of John, I believe. Chapter one. Verses eight and nine. You know your Bible. Some. Red McCraith, Banisher. We can talk scripture if you like. John Rumble. Oh, not really in the mood to talk, sir. Is anything the matter? Perhaps I may be of service. I don't need anything from the likes of you. A ghost screams bloody murder, yet he needs no help. Forgive me if I'm being nosy, but have you recently suffered a bereavement? I, I don't know what you've heard, but you keep your oar out of my boat. What would I have heard exactly? Don't mock me. I know what they say about me. I know what you all say. My dear, beloved wife is gone. Abigail is gone. That's all you need to know. It was an accident, a terrible accident. I'll speak of it no more. For someone who just lost his wife, he's awfully nonchalant. An accident? How did she die? She fell. She went to the cliff top and slipped and did not survive the fall. Now, leave me be. He's shutting down. We need a lever to prise him open. This will be the cliff John mentioned. Watch your step. Since the ripple of a Looks like she fell from here. We should go down, inspect the place. My heart sinks when I look at him, and I can't help but wonder, do I still love him? I'm burdened and ashamed and guilty because I don't love him. And yet I do. I don't care that we are childless. I don't care that we are poor. It was always the two of us. That was our promise to each other. Abigail wasn't alone. Who was with her? I wonder what they were saying. Perhaps we'll find answers at the bottom of the cliff. Do you see anywhere that could help? Keep searching here.
heart's yours. The roots are mine. This must be where Abigail fell. Think you could take on a ghost? Watch out. Spectre position. You should stay in there. You'll get it next time. when you came to New Eden. He is a failure of a man. He puts you down to raise himself up. Don't be his weakling, Abby. Act! Ah. Uh. The other side of the conversation. Those mirrors feel like ghost ties, but I don't think they are. There's an inscription. Ethel Bly. We should ask John about it. I wonder who Abigail was talking to. She sounded devious. Who benefits from belittling a self? Lover? Jealous friend? Something worse? Do not deprive one another. Puritan prayer and mandatory marital sex. Quite the life. His wife Abigail had turned her back on him in the bedroom. And not in a good way. That's not the Puritan way. I feel guilty if her death was an accident. Everyone's guilty of something.
An old key. Convenient. With luck, it'll fit a door at Bly Manor. Place is awfully tidy. Since when do you care? Says the untidiest woman ever to walk this earth. Spectral stains about the bed. Hence John's unspeakable dreams. linger here. How about a chant to reveal the past? Abigail's clothes, already packed. Everyone grieves differently. I know. Love letters. Full of youth and hope. is an infinity of paths. Will you stop walking away from me each time we are to converse? This is not conversation, Abigail. We do not converse. Not no more. You berate me, you belittle me, Abigail. I... I walk away. You don't care. You don't care about me. You don't care about our life together. I gave it all up to follow you to this godforsaken place and you don't care if we belong. We are trapped here! I could die and you not believe That's an eye. right! I don't care! I don't care about none of it! Why don't you just troop off and kill yourself and give me some goddamn peace? <laughs> oh. 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 Not a very nice man, turns out. Not a very nice woman, either. And yet she's the one who shows up dead. What do you want? You argued with Abigail. Threats were made. Fair to say your marriage was troubled, yes? Not your business. That's fair to say. Step carefully. Keep him talking. You met Abigail in Selby, I believe. I... How do you... How could you know that? You've been prying. How dare you? Your house is haunted. Your wife. We want to help. My wife is gone, and you know nothing of my troubles. You troubled by your dreams. Perhaps I can help. Oh, I doubt that. Abigail might have helped, but it's too late for that now, eh? I don't sleep good. But my head is clear. People are tense, but we cope. We always do. Do you, really? Tell me more about Abigail. God gave her more wits than most. But she wasn't shy about it. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes, I'd tell her. She had too much passion. She dwelt in earthly desires. And that's a problem how? When she stopped attending worship, I knew she was lost. Does this mirror mean anything to you? <laughs> Never thought I'd see that again. That was Abigail's. 
Where did you find it? At the cliff, where she died. I see. Any idea where she got it? Looks old. Heirloom, maybe. She found it in the woods. Kept it with her. I remember it because... We fought about it that night. We were low on money and I wished to sell it. She would not have it. Her vanity got the better of her. Is he lying? I can't tell. The inscription on the mirror suggests it once belonged to your old employers. I don't know anything more. Abigail said she found the mirror in the woods. I had no cause to doubt her. I swear it. Thank you for your time, John. Lord bless and keep you. I find John's opinion of Abigail condescending. All he does is blame her, never questions his own behavior. He's a man who lost control and can't admit it. Of course he blames her. He's an ass. You should not be here. He's going to get away with it. At last you're here. You speak. I speak and I follow. I needed to be sure you take my side. We're banishers. We don't take sides. No. Of course you don't. What's with the hide and go seek? Why manifest now? I'm stronger now. Stronger? How? Oh. What's your reckoning, Banisher? I reckon you've infected John's dreams. You plague him with horrible visions. <laughs> John's sinful thoughts are his own. He did not need me to die to have them. Don't indulge it, Red. I died at the bottom of that cliff, you know. I was alone. For hours. In agony. No one missed me. No one came. John did not come. I thought John was the one who pushed you. Didn't he? Even before my death, he packed my bags. He wanted me out. I did not know how badly his hatred burned. But when he saw me dead, I saw it in his face. Behind the shock, he was relieved. We aren't going anywhere. We'll keep digging. Yes. Do that. That was odd. She was odd. A dead woman with a shite bag husband. Nothing odd about it. You never miss a chance to drag the husbands down, do you? Excuse me? Let's just move on. Yes, let's. Bly Estate. This must be where the Rumbles used to work. Another haunted house. There might be a way to open this door from the other side. The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick.
think you could take on a ghost? Can you find a way around the locked door? I'm ready to shoot the infested roots after you bruise the heart. Now this door needs another key. This is locked from the inside. Now this door needs another key. Here's a practice. I take the heart, you take the roof. Quick and precise. Well done.
ever mention how good we are together? Yeah. It's always good to hear. Maybe this key will open the way. Traces of a ghost's memory resonate here. The imprint in the velvet is shaped like our mirror. Shreds of a memory linger here. Nokuhe!
Faskil Fogach Smal. I don't need you no more. What are you doing? <laughs> Foolish girl. Please, no. Please don't hurt him. <laughs> no! Whatever's in this mirror is neither ghost nor spectre. Where is Abigail? Abigail has left us, my dears. By what name should we know you? Always that same question, and you know better than to ask it, Antea Duarte. I don't need a name to send the likes of you back from whence you came. I've done it before. How does she know your name? It's not Abigail. It's a... well, some would call it a demon. A bloody pest is what it is. You call us demons, but from where we watch in the great below, we are angels. You poor, transparent, knowable you are upside down. <laughs> What have you done with Abigail? She's here. In a way. I am the pool, deep and dark. She is the ripple that spreads and dies away, returning to the whole, a thing no longer. You're possessing her? How? Huh? We are friends. Such good friends. No, you're a lie. Vapor in the darkness. Really? When you sit beneath a tree alone with no one to talk to, no one to play with, how easy it is to lose yourself. You know nothing about me. Ignore it, Antea. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Poor, transparent, knowable you. You target couples. You nest inside their hearts and plant the seed of resentment there, and grow it until it flowers and destroys them. We've felt you in our hearts, too. You came to me. You all come to me. When the weight of your unspoken truth is heavy, when you cannot speak your heart. Tell me, little girl, how does it feel to feel the love of your life? Do not answer, Antea. You said it yourself. We shouldn't engage with it. I know what I said, and I know what I'm doing. Get on with it, then. You're the banisher now. You get on with it. Right. That's enough. Let's get this over with. Let's. Oh, get back here. I hate when they do that. The words of a ghost may resonate here.
It's close. I feel it. Stay on your guard. You aim for the heart. Standing by. Dodge it if you can. It's going to take John. Trying my best over here. That's enough, Abigail. Step away from him. What will you do? Banish me? Banish poor, sweet, innocent Abigail? Send us both into the darkness? You know well enough, Antea, my child. There is no ascent for Abigail now. There's no escape from the likes of me. Unless I grant it. I offer you a trade, a bargain. Abigail's ghost for John. Give John his due, and Abigail is free. Abigail, if there is still a part of you in there, I'm sorry. There is sacrifice in love, but love should not be all sacrifice. You're in an awful situation. We'll put an end to it. Please. No. Don't send me down. Hell awaits me there. A terrible banquet in which I am the meal. That's enough. We are not banishing Abigail today, but the demon that has taken her. It's a gamble. John! John! Please, help me. I'd help Abigail in a heartbeat, but you are not really her. 
Red, put an end to this circus. Go back to the Void, wherever you are, and to your masters, whatever they may be. I'll take my prize to the great below, and there I shall feast. You are invited to the banquet, all of you. But, especially you, Ante Eduarte. She knows about you. She knows all about you. And she's waiting. There is nothing for you. It's over, John. The entity haunts you no longer. I had such terrible dreams. Was it the devil? Sure, John. It was the devil. God preserve us all. Save.